we had these customers walking around the used car lot, so we're just gonna say hello, introduce ourselves, and see if they need any assistance. How's it going, folks? Welcome to Schumacher. My name's Dave. Do you need any assistance? Oh, hey. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm looking at your overpriced used Equinoxes here. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that was the in fact reaction I got on Saturday when I approached those customers after after ending my last video. I went outside, I walked up to them, I introduced myself, and uh, his first response was that he's checking out our overpriced Chevrolet Equinoxes, our used Equinoxes. And I thought about it and I said, this is probably a decent teachable moment for, for salespeople because we do get that. We get that um, sort of aggressive approach all the time from clients because clients are taught that they have to come in and be aggressive and be confident and take control of the situation. Now, the best way to respond in that situation, I think, is exactly the way that I did, which was I agreed with them. I was like, yeah, you know, you're absolutely right. In the 17 years I'm selling cars here, these vehicles are the highest prices they've ever been. You know, everything is up. And when I did that and when I didn't try to sugarcoat it or I didn't combat him with, with, well, we have the best prices or whatever the case may be. I just agree with him that times are tough. The guy actually loosened up like almost immediately. And we had a really good conversation for about 10, 15 minutes about our inventory and what we're doing and you know what we have available and, and what their goals are in finding a new vehicle. But I wanted to bring this point up because I think a lot of times we get into a, a head to head with our customers or our customers, you get into a head to head with your salesperson and you don't have to do that. You know, if you just take a step back and just relax a little bit and rather than trying to be confident in a aggressive and, and overbearing to overpower the situation just have a nice honest conversation and it can go a long way now I did not sell those folks a car maybe I will in the future maybe I won't I don't know but my my thought process of handling situations that way and just being kind and upfront and transparent is that I found over the years I build a lot more relationships that way which lead to a lot more sales down the road so I recommend you do it um, be kind be transparent and uh, just be honest have an honest conversation see where it gets you So it's been a relatively slow day, not too much going on. So I figured, let me show you all the people that are ready, willing, and able to buy cars. We have orders here for Corvettes. We have orders here, deposits taken for Silverado EVs. I got the Bolt, we got 2500s, Tahoe, Suburbans, Equinoxes, Traverses. It's crazy, some of these people waiting months to get their vehicles. And hopefully, sooner than later, they eventually get them, but, for now, we just keep all these in a file. Current inventory levels are still down. So this is what we're working with right now. We have one Malibu, we have five Equinoxes, which is great. A lot of these Equinoxes just showed up on Monday. We only had one, we got four on Monday, so now we have five. Uh, these aren't gonna make it till the weekend, they'll be sold. We have three Blazers and we have six Silverados. So what is that? That's a total of 16 vehicles, including the one Colorado that I almost forgot about. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 new vehicles to sell that are currently on the lot and available. 